Hi, this is Keith at teenmoneymachine.com. We're gonna talk a little bit about things that a teenager could add to someone's garage. Um, obviously, we could start with storage racks on the left-hand side, uh, dog food hoppers, uh, paper towel racks. These are very easy to put together. They come with kits from any of the home improvement uh, warehouses that can be used for uh, storing shoes and different sporting goods. Uh, and then we'll have a shoe rack and some other things over here. You can take an old piece of furniture and make a shoe rack out of it. This is an old stereo case. Uh, you can add in hat racks. Everyone has tons of ball caps. Uh, we can add storage rack here for coats. And what I did is use actually did wire shelving at the top to put, um, actually I use it to use my socks and gloves and things that I use around the house. Uh, and then you can also use storage racks for your couple of your, your cleaning tools. And then another thing you can add very quickly is bumper guards for your cars. Just a simple two by six uh, board so that you don't damage your walls if you overshoot your garage. Uh, this is an example of, an, of a custom built workshop. It's very simple to add a workshop into your basement area. Always start with a very, very nice heavy duty vise. And we actually use three quarter inch plywood here. Uh, this is an example of a custom built workshop that a teenager could build. Uh, obviously we start off with a nice heavy duty vise that's sitting over a 4x4. Four four. We uh, use very heavy duty 3 quarter inch plywood and fairly stout beams here made out of 2x6's. Uh, very easy to bolt it together. This took me about maybe 3 or 4 hours to build and cost maybe $150 worth of material at the absolute most. Uh, and that's including the bench over here on the side. So we'll look at a little bit at the details of uh, constructing a workshop similar to this. Uh, very good, heavy, high demand for this from uh, dads and also moms that want a, a place to come fix things within their house. Uh, this is very easy to add in a garage or a workspace or a basement area. This is the construction details for a bench in the basement. Uh, this particular one is an L-shaped. It gives me great access to all the different tools. Got a rolling toolbox down here at the bottom. I have little storage containers uh, that are portable that I can put all my different uh, devices in and storage of small uh, parts up above uh, on the rack. And then have a place for all the small tools on the left-hand side. And then all my clamps are here in the center. And all the saws, cutting equipment. And then another parts bin here for certain tools I use. And obviously all the heavy duty tools that I use most often are at the fingertips. Which is all the mallets and hammers. And then I have a rack up here of all the socket wrenches for easy access. And then for when I need to move outside the garage, I have a little portable toolbox, very lightweight, that has just the basic tools uh, available in it. And then also have a screwdriver set there and a very nice little trickle charger for about $25 here for charging up all the different batteries of all the equipment that I have. And then on the right hand side, we have a, a chart where I can put information down I want to remember. Uh, then temperature gauge, humidity gauge, and clock up above. So everything's in one place. Uh, this is actually slightly dirty right now and not picked up and that's because I'm using it actively. I leave things out where I can get to them next. And then actually underneath we actually have a bench grinder which I leave it on the floor. Doesn't make sense to pick it up all the time. A couple of uh, power drills uh, and different shop vac. This is pretty much a complete workshop here. Uh, very usable. If I don't use a tool in over six months, I put it away because obviously it's not something that's commonly used. On the other side of the workshop, uh, I definitely recommend having some portable saw horses with a table. So it's very quick to move that inside or outside or move it around based on what you're going to put on the shelving. And here we actually have custom built-in shelves. Uh, this is actually a portable unit on the left and on the right hand side you'll see all the tools stacked up in the corner on racks. 
and on the far right side is a custom rack for specifically made for certain size boxes. You notice I have a lot of things that are in Tupperware containers so that I can see exactly what's in each box. And then we also have uh, places where you can store hoses and uh, cords in a very uh, nice fashion out of the way. And then we actually have a place to mount the power tools. And we have some additional storage racks that are in the next room also. These are all custom built out of two by fours and plywood and they're actually built into the frame of the house so that they don't move. Very safe. These shelves particularly will hold about uh, 800 to 1,000 pounds uh, for the set. It gets things up and off the floor and out of the way. Again, these are the custom built-in storage racks that actually go up into the rafters. Uh, this took about three hours to build with two by fours and uh, fairly heavy plywood and holds about a thousand pounds. So it gets everything stacked up against the wall and we actually mark all of our boxes seasonally so that we can look on the outside of the box and see what's in the box. Works quite well. And then we'll have some Tupperware containers too we can put up there. Another quick job is underneath your staircases is to add metal storage racks so you can hang coats up and other equipment so you can actually organize underneath your staircases. Very simple and cheap to do. Another job for teenagers is fish tank maintenance. Uh, this is a saltwater tank that we own and even though we have a teenager, we actually hire a professional teenager who's around 20 years old now to come in and clean the tank, change the water, check the, uh, the different components. Uh, and it's well worth the effort because it's, it's a real pain to have to clean these tanks on a regular basis. So we hire him about once every six weeks to come in. He actually brings his own water in, uh, checks the condition of the fish. This particular one actually has live coral and live rock in it as well as maybe 12 different kinds of fish you can see swimming around right now. So we get lots of enjoyment out of our salt water and freshwater aquariums that we have around the house. An add-on, you can actually put a web camera on your fish tank and have a fish cam and be able to watch your fish from your bedroom or your kitchen or wherever your master TV is uh, with a simple setup of a computer and a webcam.